Welcome back everyone. How's it going? And today I'm going to be talking about the PNPT, which is the Practical Network Penetration Tester by TCM Security. I hear a lot of great stuff about it. The exam or the training material is lifetime. There's no expiration on it. And I wanted to go over some of the details as far as what it looks like in the job market, how much these individuals are getting paid with this type of experience, even as a beginner. Now there is another entry level on the TCM security website and I'll show you guys really quick, but this is the one that I bought and you're asking, why did I buy it? What, what is it that was so intriguing? Now that you see two prices here, $4.99 and $10.99. I actually paid $3.99 for this because over the long weekend here in the U S there was a Memorial day coupon that I just happened to see. And I'm like, and I was contemplating to actually sit through this or, you know, obtain this and, and just get the uh, training material at minimum 50 hours of lifetime training. And I'm just going through the videos right now, one by one, and just trying to absorb as much as I can on my hectic schedule. But I'm making time. I'm making the effort because that's something you should be doing as well, because it's really important that you have to spend all these after hours after you work. Or if you're doing something else during the day, if you're busy and you actually have a real nine to five job, you can't really just be sitting there and studying all the time. So the one thing you have to do is come home, eat your dinner, spend time with the family, you know, take a little rest and then start all over again, meaning dive your head into the books or the videos or whatever it is, training materials that you had purchased. So anyway, again, I paid three ninety nine, dollars and I'm going to go over some of the details. I uh, haven't gotten too far. I probably gotten on the practical ethical hacking side, maybe around 30% of the video training. And of course, each one again has a, a good amount of videos to go over. So I, I am far from even like getting my hands wet yet. So why am I suggesting, suggesting this and why is it so unique? So he, and I say he, uh, I think his name is Keith or Heath, Heath. Sorry, uh, sorry, I butchered that. Um, he is the creator of TCM security and he has his own YouTube channel as well. And I'll probably pull that up just so you guys can get a good look at what I'm talking about. And the one thing is that it's more practical, meaning there's no multiple choice questions or answers, and you actually have to know what you're doing in order to obtain this. So why am I discussing this? Why am I talking about this? Because in my opinion, if, and I've seen all this, I've, I've went through resumes and I've seen people who have PMPT or OSCP and other variations of pen tester certifications. As soon as you actually obtain it, any one of those certifications, because it's a practical exam, it's not a multiple choice exam. You're sort of like in a mid level, you're entering in this realm of understanding all the concepts, all the technicality of it, all the applications, you have to know what you're doing in order to get to that point, right? So you spending X amount of days, months, years studying this have automatically pushed you onto that next level, which is like a mid or, or beginner mid level, right? Even though you don't have any experience, but do you do have the experience? The experience is that you actually passed the exam. You went into these labs, you went into these virtual machines that are mimicking real life scenarios. All right, let's just put it that way. So right here, penetration vulnerability testers, job openings approximately. All right. Within the United States, 4,806 jobs. Average salary is 126,920. That's great. Definitely a good balance of pen testers, vulnerability managers. And you, you see right here, all the different titles that they put under here. Some companies may hire you as a consultant. Some actually have penetration testers internally doing their assessments continuously. So right now, good balance bachelor's degree. You really don't need a graduate degree for pen testing. And that's just my opinion. You, you probably can, but unless you're going into a management level, that's where the master's degree actually has a little bit more benefit. But if you want to understand a pen tester and how the tools work, just work with it, build a lab, uh, purchase a lab, you know, do the actual hands-on, uh, practical stuff of it. So PMPT, if you go to indeed is not a shortage of jobs. 
All right, we, we just went over the high level of how many jobs opening for penetration testers and vulnerability testers. So now we actually go into the job search engines where like, for instance, right now it's Indeed. We're looking at, you know, randomly. I'm not picking any regions specifically. I just put in PMPT and I did a quick search. So we have all these different jobs. You got 60 to $70 an hour, which is not too bad, right? So right now, even as a technical lead, let's just, for instance, this is still a full remote job. It's the, the certification is up in par with all the other certifications in this, you know, category of uh, pen testing or cyber security, you know, pen testers and vulnerability scanners and, and that all that great stuff, right? So PMPT is definitely making its foot into this door as a recognizable higher level certification now like i said earlier pmpt there is an and tcm security there is a pg pjpt which is a penetra uh, practical junior pen tester a uh, penetration tester which is a lower tier lower level uh, a little easier and so you're probably asking like you know why didn't i do this one first i should have honestly i should have i don't know why i didn't i was looking at it but then I was like, oh, I got the $100 off load. Let me just go straight into PMPT because I have read and I've looked and I do have some knowledge of pen testing. Not the greatest. Let me just make sure I explain that very clearly and not the greatest. But I have read and I have seen, I've heard people where PMPT's training material was so thorough that if you start from knowing nothing and just go through the course and, and understand it, go through the labs, you're able to obtain the certification. And that really depends on how much time and effort you give towards it, meaning how much how many hours you spend to, uh, you know, per night studying it consecutively, maybe three months, maybe six months, maybe a year. Uh, I'm probably, because of my hectic schedule and the way I operate, and, you know, spending time with the family and then, of course, things coming in between like holidays and things like that. I'm giving myself maybe until like, you know, end of the end of the year. I will say between now to the end of the year is like another six months. I'm hoping I could spend at least a good two, three hours a night focusing on this specifically and only on this. So that's my goal. So let me just show you guys really quick. So that's that. I mean, you can choose the junior level one if you want to. But right now, as far as the, you know, uh, uh, and this is TCM's uh, securities website, uh, Cyber Mentor, and this is his program. So what I was saying is that, you know, if, if you go for the lower tier, the job market is not so much focused on the lower tier one because I don't see it mentioned as much. So that's PJPT. Uh, PJPT is definitely, I mean, it's probably there, but on a lower scale as far as, salary wise and definitely a lower junior more entry level position than the pmpt now i'm not taking this or studying for this or trying to get the certification it's more of a self-gratitude self-satisfaction because i want to learn more and i just don't want to stay static in what i currently know and just live off of that right i want to be kind of dynamic i, I really want to be a know-it-all um, not in a bad way but just understanding every possible concept of what's out there as far as cybersecurity. And that's what you should be doing as well, because you should really be exploring, even though you're not in that specific field, right? You're, you're currently a blue team, SOC analyst, whatever you, you know, whatever it is that you're doing right now, there is no harm in sitting through something to learn something new, whether it's the, you know, penetration uh, testing or pen test plus from from CompTIA and of course you could even go as far as like taking the OSCP even though you're working as a blue team it's understanding and and getting familiar with all these different tools uh, I believe even CEH has a practical side to it not just the multiple choice questions and answers so there is more dynamics there is more hands-on labs and all that you can even do like try hack me or hack the box. And there's a lot of platforms where you can actually explore and learn more to enhance your ability and open yourself up for a bigger market than just what you're currently doing, right? 
I, I would say as far as a blue team, it's a little easier in my opinion. You log into a bunch of consoles, you log into the sim, you know, you do your playbook and you start going through events and, and all these histories and, and looking through logs just to see what's there. But at the same time, going on coming from the other side, right? From the penetration testing side, from the vulnerability scanning sky, side, you see a lot more and you can do a lot more. And you use these different tools that blue teams will never use ever, right? Uh, blue team rarely would use Wireshark and Map, uh, Burp Suite, and, and all those other great fancy hacking tools that are out there right now. I, I you know, it's great to be familiar and just understand it. No one said that you have to be a master. So that is the reason why I chose uh, TCM Security's uh, PMPT. It was more for a self enlightenment, trying to understand more going into it. It's a little more uh, from from my understanding and watching uh, the Cyber Mentors website uh, YouTube video was that it's mimicking more of the real world than OSCP, where OCP, not saying that it's anything bad, it tests your skills for sure, but it limits you on what tools you can use. Now, the Cyber Mentor is more gracious as far as the, the time frame of how many days you, you can use to take the exam and then write the report. I believe it's like five days to do the pen test and then two days to do the report. That's really, really generous of them to do something like that because it's it's get, allowing you more time and also to review everything just so you can make sure that you pass on the first time or first try or whatever. But also, because I paid the $3.99 for this certification or this program, uh, I have one attempt at the exam and one free retake if I fail it. So it's definitely a good value uh, for, for what you get in terms of knowledge and the type of money that you're putting out to obtain this certification. Now, again, this is not required for me for work or anything like that. It's more for self-enlightenment, seeing how far I can get, uh, dedicating myself, disciplining myself to achieve more than what I have now. All right. So I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.